What's up guys, welcome to Soccer Machine TV. Today we're gonna to be doing a sprint workout. Uh, it's gonna consist of sprinting from here all the way to that tree over there. If you can see, there's a camera over there set up too. It's about a 40 yard dash. It's, it's a pretty good size sprint, uh, but we're gonna be including some variations here. It's gonna be three variations in total, and I'm gonna be repeating them three times each. Uh, when you do this workout at home, you can either pick one and do it a, a set amount of reps, or you can do what we're doing and do it uh, a couple times each. I think around 9 and 15 is a good amount of, of sprints for a full workout. Now this isn't like uh, when we did strength and then we would do a little sprint. This is full out sprints. This is a workout by itself. You're working uh, top speed. And the way we're going to do uh, the timing is I have a stopwatch right here. And it's going to be every two minutes you have to go. That means if, if the sprint takes you uh, maybe 20 seconds, that means you got a minute and 40 seconds of rest. If the sprint takes you 30 seconds, then you got a minute and 30 seconds to rest. You're going every two minutes uh, on, the, on the sprint. So that's, hopefully that doesn't turn off. If not, we're gonna just keep going. Uh, so the first variation we're gonna do before I start the stopwatch, you're gonna go to the last cone. You're gonna ignore all of these cones right here. You're gonna go to that last cone. Full sprint, try to get top speed. Stop abruptly and then come back uh, lightly. Come back like in a jog. So it looks like this. And then you take off and you do the full 40 yard sprint. So what this is doing for a lot of forwards that, that you guys know that you're constantly trying to beat that outside. You sprint to, the, to, to make a run, then they don't pass you the ball. You have to jog back to, to get back on sides and then you make that run. So that's gonna be simulating that. A little movement it teaches you to to take off real quick to be able to stop and then to to get that full sprint so let's do three of those real quick okay ready so the first variation and i'm not gonna stop we're gonna do the full it's gonna be nine on two minutes so it's gonna be an 18 minute workout so are you recording are we good all right let's let's begin Alright, so that was that was a 20 second a 20 second sprint. I get about a minute and 30 seconds of rest. Whew. And for these sprints you're going 100 percent You should be out of breath, but not completely out of breath when you start the next sprint. Huh. And as you can see, I sprinted to that cone and on the way back, as I was trotting back. I actually did one of these runs. So it's not sprinting completely straight. You're kind of taking an angle and then uh, finishing your sprint. I'm gonna be out of breath, so like, I'm not gonna be able to, to fully explain every single uh, scenario. Where are we at? All right, so I got 45 seconds of rest. Again, you're going 100%. This is a 100% sprint. This is not a. This is not a jog. This is not a part of a workout. This is your workout. You're going as fast as you can go. Nine times. It's gonna get you out of breath. Your legs should be pumped by the end of the workout. You should feel them activated. If you're doing this right, if you're doing this at full capacity. So where are we at? All right, 10 seconds. And like right now, I'm about to go. I got 10 seconds. I caught up with my breath. My lungs are ready to go. And we're good to go. Again, so about a minute and 30 second rest. Make sure to have some type of water to be sipping on too. 
Uh, the workouts are kind of long, so make sure you have uh, some sort of hydration. Never mind over here. We got 40 second rest. Now the rest periods in the beginning may seem a little long, like you, you'll be ready to go beforehand, but towards the end, they really start to kick in. It, it really becomes more of an endurance factor towards the end. But right now we're still good. Um, 20 seconds left. You can use a stopwatch or something too, or just your phone. Uh, the only reason I'm using the slot online one is because you can, you can put it white screen. All right, let's go. So that first sprint, uh, that was one of my favorites because it's big sprints. You, that first sprint, you try to reach max speed in the short direction of time. You come back and then you do a full sprint. Uh, this next one is also useful, but it's not so much a forward specific drill. This is more for defenders that need to, to track back. Uh, you know when your coach tells you to not stab, to just follow the player? You're literally doing this. So we're gonna be doing that on each cone. You go to one cone, you come back. You go to that cone, you actually come back to that cone. I came all the way back right now just because I was talking to you guys. But you don't come all the way back. You just come to the to the cone beforehand. And you do it a little faster. Also notice how I'm doing the sprints here, not on the on the main field, because I don't want to mess it up. Sprints are very aggressive on the ground, a lot of stopping and going. And it just rained, so I'm gonna mess up this area. That's why I do the sprints on, on here, on the on just a, a straightaway. Uh, so let's do this one, let's do three sets. Let's start the stopwatch real quick. It's probably gonna be turned off. Uh, all right. All right, so let's begin. I don't remember if I turned on that camera. Ah. For this one, it might even be a little bit less distance because you're going and you don't have to come all the way back. But it is that repetition of getting those, those movements. Uh, for defensive players, for midfields, shadowing a player and not stabbing it's one of the one of the key things they teach you uh, in soccer when defending. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, since this is a team sport, you just gotta guide the forward into spaces where he's not dangerous. Especially if it's a one-in-one -one situation, they teach you that when he's coming, just push him to the outside, and then it gives people time to to come back to drop, and it, it gets them away from a from a goal-scoring opportunity. So let's check. Ah, you're getting on my nerves. Everyone knows my password now. Thanks, thanks cameraman. All right, so we got five seconds. Let's go. You're working mainly on top speed, but you do get that endurance factor, especially towards the end. Um, so it's one more of these, and then we're gonna move on to the final, uh, the final drill. I kind of want to show you guys the final drill. Do I have time? I got 30 seconds to show you the final one. I'm not doing this one right now, but I'm just gonna show you how it's gonna look. For the final drill right now, 
we're gonna be doing lateral motions. So what you do is you go behind the cone, but you're doing it sprinting, you're doing it full speed. Uh, this is that same lateral motion idea, and you're gonna see uh, visually how it looks at top speed. But for right now, let's do one more of the ones I already showed you guys. Uh, are we ready to go? You restarted it. What happened? You restarted it. All right, never mind, guys. All right, since we restarted, let's just move on to, to the last drill. Pretend like we did the, the other drill. Uh, let's begin. Let's start. Started it. You did it again? Alright. Just messed up our rest periods again. You get the idea. We're gonna get rid of this. The point is, you're doing it every two minutes. So you go, if you do it in 20 seconds, you get a little more rest. If you do it in 30 seconds, you get a little less rest. But the point is, that um, you gotta stay within those two minutes. So uh, towards the end, it's gonna seem harder because you're sprinting slower, so that means you get even less rest. But that kind of pushes you. So, so it's not like you get two minutes rest after you're done. The rest depends on how fast you do the sprint. Uh, so I don't know where, how much I need to rest because we don't gotta stop watch. Uh, for you, it won't be that much of a problem. I was using an online stopwatch, so the phone turns off. And the only reason I was doing it is so it would be widescreen, it'd be better to see for you guys. But now, <laughs> now I think it would have just been better to use the, the regular stopwatch on the floor. But uh, usually that's what I do. Or if you have a little Fitbit or a little watch, that's easier. So I'm just gonna do one more of these. I'm sure you guys get the principle of the video. Two minute rest, or no, two minute sprint and rest time. Uh, you fit it in how, how you think it is. Pick one of these and repeat it. Your sprint days can be just five sprints. If maybe you don't got that much uh, endurance or that much power in your legs yet. If you wanna push yourself, you can even increase it to like 12. You can do four repetitions of these uh, different types of exercises. Uh, as for me, I'm just gonna complete it here. We're done. Uh, I really wish the stopwatch would've been, wouldn't have been a problem, but you can have every Every video perfect, so let's finish it strong. Coming with us. Ah, 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 and we're done. All right, guys, that's all. Soccer Machine TV, sprint workout. Incorporate this into your training two, three times a week and you're good.